Should you upgrade to the 2021 iPad Pro? In this video, I'm gonna help you decide. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and we're talking about the 2020 iPad Pros and whether or not it makes sense for you to upgrade. Now, in any normal year, it's already a tough decision whether or not it makes sense to upgrade. You have to consider what device you currently have and then what you're doing with that device if it makes sense to upgrade to the newest version. And of course, it depends on what Apple introduces in its newest version. And it's really kind of a tough decision, but this year it gets even more complicated because the 12.9 inch model is even more impressive with that liquid retina XDR display. So we have to take into consideration what you do, what tablet you have now, and if you're going to the 11 or the 12 inch. So if you're going to that 11 inch, there's like, you know, say this much reason to upgrade, but the 12.9 inch has this much reason to upgrade. So it's a little bit more, you know, lust worthy, that 12.9 inch version. So. Let's go ahead and break these kind of down and try to give you guys some insight on whether or not it makes sense for you to upgrade. So we're going to really focus on iPad Pro users here because they're typically the ones that are going to be jumping up to an iPad Pro. If you have an iPad Air and you really feel like you need to do more with it, I mean, the current generation iPad Airs already have USB-C and a lot of people are happy with that. But if for some reason that's not working for you, you want more or you want the bigger screen, then yeah, it is a great time to upgrade because this is one heck of an upgrade to Apple's tablet. So if you have an iPad Air and you want to upgrade, whether it's an older iPad Air or you want a bigger display, then yes, this is a great time for you to upgrade. If you have a 2018 iPad Pro, the 11 or the 12.9, uh, it starts to get tougher to decide. Personally, I think this is a great year for you to upgrade. There have been a number of improvements between the 2018 and the 20 iPad Pro. It's been a couple year gap now. So I think it's a little bit more justified for the people of that older tablet. We're going from an A12 X Bionic processor to the M1 processor, and there should be a fairly sizable jump in performance. So I think for those users on the 2018 iPad Pro, they're going to get the changes like updated Wi-Fi. They're going to get the LiDAR scanner. They're going to get the Thunderbolt port. They're going to get uh, the Liquid Retina XDR display of going to the 12.9 inch. Uh, and just overall better performance, especially in terms of graphics power. So if you're on a 2018 iPad Pro and you've been debating on upgrading, I think this is definitely a tablet that is worth upgrading to. Now, if you have the 2020 iPad Pros, it's a little fuzzier. As a rule of thumb, I would say that those on the 11 inch 2020 iPad Pros probably don't need to upgrade. There is a big jump in performance but the current, the 2020 iPad Pro has never felt like a slouch. Like they never felt like they were underpowered. So I think as it stands right now, those on the 2020 iPad Pros that have the smaller 11 inch are probably safe where they are. If you have the 12.9 inch, it is a tough call and it's almost a coin toss of whether or not it makes sense. And it really comes down to what you do with your tablet. I can say that I am in that boat. I use a 2020 iPad Pro daily, and for me, I am going to be upgrading to the 2021 iPad Pros for a few reasons why, and I'll explain to you exactly why I personally am upgrading with a tablet that's only a year old. So first up, if we look at performance. So the 2020 iPad Pros have an A12Z Bionic processor, right? Had an extra graphics core compared to the prior generation. But with the new ones, we're getting that M1 processor. It's going from the A12Z to an M1. And if we run Geekbench on our Mac that has an M1 processor, we can see what we can pretty much expect on the new iPad Pros. The A12Z Bionic processor scores an 1115 and a 4383 on the single and multi-core test. The M1 gets a 1716 and a 7301. Those are good gains in the single core and very impressive gains in the multi-core, like really good gains. But it gets even more impressive when we look at graphics. We're looking at a 12411 on the A12Z Bionic processor and a whopping 20,685 on the M1. A huge jump in graphics power. That is a, a gigantic leap from the 2020 to the 2021. 
And it makes sense because the A12Z was pretty similar to the A12X. So you're getting that huge jump in performance between both of them because the processor was almost the same. So it's definitely worth it if you're doing something that really requires a lot of intensive power on your tablet. And for me, I do a lot with photos, a lot of bulk editing, and a lot of video editing. So I really prefer that extra power. The other reasons why it made sense for me to upgrade is because of Thunderbolt. For me doing a lot of video editing, I am doing a lot on my Mac and a lot of stuff is stored on Thunderbolt. Now I'm able to connect any of those Thunderbolt drives directly into my iPad Pro and continue editing there. That's very slick and I'm very excited about that. But it also kind of lends itself to what I'm hoping Apple does in the future. I expect Apple to bring the Final Cut to the iPad. And if it does, I wanna make sure I have one, ample internal storage. I need more internal storage than I have now. Two, I want more RAM. The 2020 iPad Pros, mine has six gigs of RAM, whereas the one terabyte version of the 2021 iPad Pros has 16 gigs of RAM. So a whole lot, 10 additional gigs of RAM, which would be really beneficial for video editing uh, and the faster Wi-Fi. But between Thunderbolt, more internal storage and more RAM, I definitely want that alongside that Liquid Retina XDR display. So for someone who does video editing or even photo editing and you're doing that regularly for a profession or just a really serious hobby, I think even from the 2020, 2020 iPad Pro, it makes sense to upgrade to the 2021 iPad Pros. That's just my opinion. And if you're not doing anything that's serious on it, again, it doesn't make a lot of sense. But for those who are utilizing the storage via USB-C or Thunderbolt, you are doing things like a lot of intensive stuff. Yeah, this is an iPad that you want to upgrade for. So what do you guys think? What iPad do you have and are you going to upgrade to the 11 or the 12.9 inch iPad Pro? Just to rehash again, I think if you're on any of the 2018 models, yes, it is absolutely worth upgrading. If you're on the 2020 models, if you have an 11 inch, probably not worth upgrading. If you have a 12.9 inch of the 2020s, it's a coin toss depending on what you do with it. If you're utilizing storage, if you use that display a lot for photos or video uh, and you want extra internal storage or anything like that, then yeah, it might be time to upgrade even though it's only been a year, just a little over a year, I think it could be worth the upgrade if you're serious about getting work done on your iPad. But that's just me. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU and I'll catch you guys in the next video.